Hey guys, what is going on? It is Max User here today, reporting to you guys with another Redstone Showcase. I'm sorry for my last Redstone Showcase. It was extremely horrible. I may delete it or I may keep it up to show my shame. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys today my own invention, and it is the Penguin Farm. The Penguin Farm is a steampunk semi-automatic wheat farm, which is extremely easy to build, um, even though I'm not going to be showing you guys a tutorial today because I have limited time right now. Um, but yeah, it is extremely awesome, and yeah, um, I made the design myself. Really cool. I am so proud of myself for making something by myself without a tutorial. Man, I'm learning redstone fast, guys, and it, I'm just like oh my gosh I'm learning so much I'm so smart so yeah I added the water wheel just for kicks because it is uh, of course a steampunk design it is extremely cool you will get wheat really quickly even though um, uh, there's no uh, dispensers with bone meal I should have added that if you guys have any um, add-ons you want to see on this build post in the comments and I will add that and possibly you will see your add-on in the next video if I ever decide to make another video with this design so yeah I'm gonna first show you guys the inside of the house and this inside of the house is strictly for um, for people who are extremely addicted to wheat farming. I don't know why people, or some people are addicted to wheat farming, it, they just are. Um, no offense to people who do a whole ton of wheat farming, um, I'm just saying that to people in Minecraft, people outside of Minecraft, you're cool. But yeah, so yeah, here's a bed, here's two beds right here, chest, nothing in it, in case you, you ever want to store some wheat or seeds, or even bone meal. Here is a sink with a counter, I think, I don't really know what this is, I don't know why I added that. Um, Here's a stove, a dishwasher, I think. I don't really know. I just added that just for kicks as well. And here is the desk for putting in your logs of how much weed was collected. So yeah, this um this is an extremely awesome wheat farm. So how you how you turn it on? Two clicks with the switch, and the dispensers from each level um will push out water and all the wheat, well most of it. Will um will be pushed down into the hoppers below and into a chest. See, we've already collected a bit of wheat and seeds. Man, that is extremely awesome. So how you turn it off? Just two clicks. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys how the redstone works. It is extremely simple. Like this is gonna be the part of the showcase where it's sort of a tutorial. Um, so yeah, from that switch, you will have to put a repeater right where it turns in. You cannot put it right there or like right back there, or the circuit will not connect to the repeater. And yeah, that's just not fun. So yeah, from the repeater, you will uh, add in some more redstone signal going to the dispensers, and they must not connect the like these parts like the part with the glowstone must not connect or else it will turn into a little square you do not want that because it will not go to the dispenser and it will not turn on so from here then you bring the um the signal right to this next repeater and from this repeater uh, right to this repeater and then right to the next level so yeah extremely simple guys really an easy build so yeah um let me show you where the um redstone circuit is yep it is right there um so yeah you can hide it extremely easily so yeah i'm going to show you now right where um right where the hoppers are so there are hoppers they're all connected right here um i don't know why that is not that's Oh, right. I put that there so the water could go um, right into there. <laughs> Man, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, yeah, how that works now. So, yeah, a little bit of the wheat will get caught. But, yeah, how this works now. So, when all the hoppers are connected into this middle hopper, the middle hopper is connected right into the chest and you'll get all that wheat and seeds so extremely easy build guys why i put this here like i bet some of you guys are wondering is because 
there was no wheat that was getting picked up. It used to be able to be picked up, like both um, both of these water streams and also these two water streams would combine right here and all the wheat would be pushed down. It used to happen, but sadly not anymore. Sadly, I don't know what happened, probably something with Mojang and Microsoft evil people um, decided to screw that up for me. <laughs> so yeah, also right here, I bet you're wondering why there's two blocks right here. Well, if I let those um, not there, what would happen is it, the water would create a water spawn point and the water spawn point would not be able to be turned off and then basically you screw up your entire device and no one wants to fix a device because that is way too hard and well it can be but either way I'm just too lazy to fix it so yeah really simple design guys if you guys want to see an actual tutorial on how to build this Please post in the comments, please like and comment, uh, and also comment about what would you like to see on the next video, either uh, if you want to see an add-on to this build, or another redstone build, or even what you want to see in the next video in general, like, you know, Team Fortress 2, Minecraft, Legend of Zelda, so yeah, that's basically it, please like, comment, and subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and yeah, please do not dislike the video, please don't give hate, man, seriously, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and peace off, fellow Minecraft players, and good night, woohoo!